The leaders across the world are joining uh, South Africans in mourning Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu, who died on Sunday at the age of 90. And so South Africa's apartheid icon, Nobel Laureate, Bishop of the Anglican Church, Desmond Tutu, was not a man of small means. He was one whose record is no feat. Leila Mohammed zooms in on the celebrated man of the cloth. It is with great sadness that I have to announce about our dearly beloved Archbishop Emeritus of Cape Town and the 1984 Nobel Peace Laureate Desmond Mpilo Tutu died a short while ago at the age of 90. <laughs> News of the Nobel laureate's death was relayed to the Rainbow Nation and the world by South African President Cyril Ramaphosa early Sunday, hours after the former Bishop of Johannesburg had breathed his last at a care facility in Cape Town. While honoring the anti apartheid hero who has been described as the country's moral compass, President Ramaphosa notes that the passing of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu is another chapter of bereavement in the nation's farewell to a generation of outstanding South Africans who have bequeathed them a liberated South Africa. I would never have been anywhere near what I am without you. Ordained at the age of 30 and appointed Archbishop in 1986, Tutu lobbied for international sanctions against apartheid and later for human rights on a global scale. He turned his focus on the thorny issue of reconciliation in the post-apartheid era as head of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Dreamed about a society that would be compassionate. Hmm. A society that really made people feel they mattered and you can't do that in a society where you have people who go to bed hungry the archbishop of the anglican church who pushed for a nonviolent revolution against the apartheid regime in that country turned 90 in october 2021 a milestone that was marked by celebrations and with a special thanksgiving service at St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town, where he was appointed South Africa's first black Anglican Archbishop. The last time Tutu himself was seen as public was in May 2021, when he and his wife Leah went to receive their COVID-19 vaccinations. Tutu was hospitalized four times in 2016 and underwent minor surgery for a persistent infection linked to his prostate cancer treatment. He was last hospitalized in September 2018 for a series of tests and discharged after two weeks. What am I going to do uh, to justify my, uh, my being called a, a, a moral colossus? Bishop Tutu, a Talist activist who championed for the rights of all in his beloved Rainbow Nation, was never afraid to speak truth to power, whatever its creed or color. Famously outspoken, even after the fall of the racist apartheid regime, Tutu never shied away from confronting South Africa's shortcomings or injustices. Is it wrong? Is it, is it favoring the powerful? Is it favoring the weak? It was Tutu who coined and popularized the term Rainbow Nation to describe South Africa when Mandela became president. At the time, Tutu was serving as the first black Anglican Archbishop of Cape Town. Tutu is a recipient of numerous awards, including the 1984 Nobel Peace Prize. He had previously been nominated in 1981, 1982 and 1983 for his causes, which ranged from child marriage to calls for Western leaders to be tried over the Iraq war and in a later year for the right to die. He married his wife Nomalizo Lea Tutu in 1955 with whom they have four children. That says it all.